Hello, my friends. Are you ready to dive into the wonderful world of agriculture today? Today's video will showcase the most impressive harvest moments in farming. Each year, billions of apples are harvested in the United States through various methods. Here's a glimpse of apple harvesting in Washington. For apple harvesting and processing accounts for around half of the crop's production costs. That's why apple growers are increasingly turning to mechanical harvesting methods. Genes can also help reduce the risk of fruit decay while lowering the chances of soil-borne contaminants making their way into the final product. Pumpkins hold an important place in the daily cuisine of Italians. This vibrant fruit is harvested from late October. The other Italian province of Mantua is one of the main production areas. What's unique in Italy is the harvesting of pumpkin seeds. Often mistaken for waste, pumpkin seeds are actually used for direct consumption or as an ingredient in cooking. Before the harvest, pumpkins across the field are arranged in straight lines to facilitate easier collection. Italian farmers use machines to maximize yield and minimize the time the pumpkins remain on the ground after ripening. The machine rolls over the field gathering the pumpkins onto its body. Then the pumpkins are crushed to extract the seeds, with the remaining pulp being returned to the field. From September to mid-November in North America, cranberries reach their peak in color and flavor. This is when farmers in New Jersey harvest millions of pounds of cranberries. Harvesting machines sweep across the bogs, creating a beautiful scene like waves of red silk. Cranberries are one of the few fruits native to North America. Farmers have increased yields by cultivating them in these unique bogs. Plastic cranes are used to suction the cranberries onto the machine, after which the berries are lifted onto conveyor belts for cleaning. Finally, the freshly harvested cranberries are loaded into trucks and transported to processing plants. At night, the sight of combine harvesters working across the fields creates a stunning spectacle. And this is a sign of the busy harvest season in Indiana, where farmers extend their hours by harvesting at night. If they harvest late, farmers could lose one or two percent of their wheat yield each day. machines from overheating while reducing stress on both the soil and the crops. Lighting systems provide operators with clear visibility for nighttime activities. This includes unloading, transporting, and safely reversing the vehicles. Each year, California produces 80% of the world's almonds and 100% of the commercial supply in the United States. accelerate the harvesting process. Mechanical shakers are attached to the tree trunks, vigorously shaking them so that ripe almonds fall to the ground. The almonds are left in the orchard for around 10 days to dry completely. Afterwards, sweepers line them up in rows, and a vacuum machine completes the harvesting process.
operate from early morning until late evening. During peak season, farmers need to speed up to maintain the supply chain. With massive blades, the harvesters pull entire tomato plants into the machine. A continuous shaking mechanism separates the tomatoes from the vines, throwing the plants back into the field while the tomatoes are moved onto a conveyor belt. These machines also have a color coding detection technology that removes unripe tomatoes, making sorting much faster. Around September, in Russia's sugar beet fields, farmers begin their harvest. The machines start by cutting off the beet tops, then a separate tractor lifts the beets from the ground and collects them. The beets undergo an initial cleaning to remove impurities, and then they're loaded onto a nearby truck. To ensure maximum sugar content, farmers focus on harvesting at the optimal time. They use specialized harvesting equipment to maintain quality during peak season. Sugar beet harvesters may operate 24 hours a day in Russia. In Russia, sunflower fields are entering harvest season. According to 2023 statistics, Russia and Ukraine contribute around 55% of the world's total sunflower production. The ideal time to harvest sunflowers is when the petals start to dry and fall to the ground. Mechanized harvesting has also become the primary method for large-scale sunflower farming in Russia. As the combine moves, the machine's stalk lifts gather the sunflower heads, cutting them from the stalks and directing them into the threshing chamber. The sunflower seeds drop into a storage bin, while the rest of the plant, including stems and leaves, is chopped and left in the field. Spanish farmers use various interesting methods to harvest olives. They use a machine that shakes the tree trunks, and sometimes they also use poles to ensure all ripe olives fall. The automatic harvester moves along the rows of olive trees, applying force with rubber rods to them. As the olives fall, a conveyor belt is ready to collect and transport them. These machines are designed for independent and continuous unloading, ensuring minimal damage. Sensors installed on the machines provide precise information throughout the harvesting process. In California, farmers have developed greenhouse strawberry cultivation and use robots for strawberry harvesting. The use of robots can replace a large amount of labor and opens new growth potential for agriculture. The robots can predict the ideal time to pick a ripe strawberry. An articulated robotic arm maneuvers its sensor array between the leaves, while vision software scans sensor data to locate the ripe strawberries. A robot can identify and categorize strawberries into five different ripeness levels based on color. Each time it finds a ripe strawberry, a silicone robotic hand gently grasps it, twists it off the stem, and places it into a container. Next, let's look at the bell pepper harvest in midsummer in the Coachella Valley. After picking, the bell peppers are taken directly from the fields to the packing station, where packers work to box the peppers. Farmers typically pick bell peppers early in the morning when they retain enough moisture. Harvested peppers are stored in a cool place, and containers aren't overfilled to prevent bruising. Additionally, farmers need to sort out the peppers by size and color, removing any damaged ones to ensure a high-quality harvest. Summer is the season when harvesting machines appear across strawberry fields each year. Farmers in Washington berries remain attached, waiting for the next harvest. In its final stage, the farmers remove any remaining leaves or unripe berries, ensuring that the finest raspberries continue their journey. In the
the vast celery fields of California, one of the largest celery growing regions in the U.S., the synchronized efforts between farmers. Harvesting begins early in the morning as farmers carefully cut each lush green celery bunch at its base. The cut celery bunches are quickly placed onto large harvest machines, moving slowly through each row. This process adds a distinctive touch to Valpolicella's winemaking tradition. Grape picking starts after midnight during the coldest hours. This helps retain the grape's natural acidity, enhancing their flavor. Farmers also prefer nighttime harvesting due to the cooler weather, and they receive higher pay for night shifts. In the vast artichoke fields of Castroville, Texas, groups of farmers work energetically creating a lively scene of the harvest season. Each farmer is equipped with a hand-cutting tool. After picking, they skillfully toss each artichoke into a basket on their backs. This requires both skill and precision to avoid damaging the artichokes. When the baskets are full, the farmers move to a collection point in the field, where the artichokes are carefully arranged in preparation for packaging. Have you ever seen this before? This is a characteristic feature of commercial banana plantations in Asian countries. A paving system farmers use to transport bananas from fields to the processing area. Each banana bunch weighs between 65 and 110 So a harvest of these two fields consists of each other. As one farmer cuts the bunch, the other catches it to prevent bruising. Secure the bananas onto the cable. Using this transport system makes the harvest process easier. Did you know that improper post harvest handling can ruin agricultural products and they can even cause enough losses for the entire season? This is a common problem for mango farmers. Commercial mango farmers must apply pest management strategies using biological control and pesticides. Mango trees start bearing fruit in the sixth year of their life. 